Jamie Tennyson, new shave here today. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, first off, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Now this is going to be my actual first Valentine's Day video review thing. Now, I've been planning. I was going to use this specific razor for Valentine's Day, but I didn't know what soap I was going to use. And I didn't I didn't know what I was going to do. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get into this because we got a lot. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got stuff to do, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. DE razor we're going to be using today is 1966 L1 Pink Lady Gillette DE razor. What? 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 You guys shouldn't be this shocked. You've already seen me use two different ones of these, right? It's fitting though. Pink Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is dear, more geared toward women than us gents, right? If your lady gives you 12 dozen long stem roses, a bunch of chocolates, candles, flowers, maybe she's a keeper or I don't know. <laughs> That'd be very different though. I mean, usually that's what the guy gives to the lady, right? Valentine's Day is, to me, to me, it, people could think differently, but it, I, Valentine's Day is pretty much more geared toward your lady, right? You know, that's how I think about it. So I'm going to use this razor today. Yeah. Beat up. This one's. Probably my most beat up one of the two. I've got the pink one, I've got the champagne gold, and I have the blue one. This one's pretty beat up. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to see it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there, rock. But yeah, L1, got the stars. There's a lot of patina on here. It's like you can see the you can see the green, the patina on there. Oh there, now you can see it better. It's patina pretty good, but still bad, not bad. Long handle. Pretty much, or not pretty much, it's a super speed style head. And yeah, that's the DE razor we're going to be using today. DE blade we're going to be using today is the same blade I'm using in the last video, and that is the Lada's from Russia. Blade, second use. So that's what we're using today. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> now, Get to the soap and stuff in a minute. Calm down, calm down. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be very different from what I normally would use. But yeah, it's from Phoenix Art and Accoutrements, but I just wanna show you the stuff I got in the mail. It came with it. But at first it came with this. Kinda cool, right? You cut this out, you glue it to like a piece of cardboard or laminated or um, plastic, and then you hang that on your doorknob. Yeah, this what came with my order. Yeah. You can't see the other side. <laughs> yeah, I actually got two of these because I ordered two different things. And yeah, I might color this, I may make copies of it. It'd be cool. It's a keeper. It also came with this. The Big Shaves West One of a Kind Traditional Shaving Expo, March 28th, 2020. Free admission, bigshaveswest.com. Burning down the house. Do, do, da, do, da, do, do, do. <laughs> Talking heads are awesome. Came with that. Also came with this though. <laughs> ESP. Which was just released today. Douglas just released ESP today. You get the Facebook, or not Facebook, the notification on text message. Go get it. <laughs> I just ordered mine this morning. I got the text message notification. I'm like, order, order. Yeah, but yeah. It's got the tattoo there. It's got the ESP guy right there. Or yeah, it says ESP on his forehead. <laughs> right? PhoenixShaving.com. More than just shaving. And if you look at her foot, how to grow a mustache.com. G plus. Yeah. That's what it came with too. We'll get to the soap in a minute. It's gonna be very different for me because it's not normally something I would actually use. So let's get to it. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement CK1 Love Bombs. Looks like that. Get out of there. Chocolate and Roses. 
Guns and Roses. No, 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 not Guns and Roses. Chocolate and Roses. Love and Rockets? No, 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 not Love and Rockets. Chocolate and Roses. Oh, you mean Velvet Revolver? No. Chocolate. Roses. <laughs> There's no G and R in here. <laughs> so. Very different. Very, very. Yeah. You can see it's got like a little pink hue to it. A little bit of pink in there. But. The chocolate hits you. It smells so good. You almost want to take a bite out of it but it ain't gonna taste like chocolate a little bit of rose a little bit it's balanced but yeah very different because i've never used a rose scent rose is kind of a feminine thing i'm the most floral i use that i like is like lavenders blended with something else this is my first rose scent so a little bit different and i got a lot to read so let's get into that real quick and this is pretty much, I got this straight off Phoenix Artists and Coochman's website. So this isn't really me talking. This is <laughs> Douglas May talking. So, but yeah, I wrote it all down. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. <clears throat> says, from their website, first off, before anyone emails us, I realize that in the label artwork, there are rockets, not necessarily bombs. But just like the, just like all sci-fi, we are, we ask for a willing suspension of disbelief. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, that within those rockets are little robots, Q-bots, you know, like Cupid, <laughs> that will in fact open up a little door and drop said love bombs on one and all. Now on to the most important aspect, the scent. <laughs> scent profile, dark chocolate and roses, yeah. You will also find white banksia, white banksia hydrosol sourced from the world's largest rose bush. Where's that from? Tombstone, Arizona boy knows. <laughs> Tobacco and Rose Absolute in the aftershave cologne, as well as as well as a regular cocktail of skin food. Not overly floral, not overly sweet, and very well balanced. And from what I smell, and I opened the aftershave already because I wanted to get into it. I didn't want to get into it blindly, but yeah, it, it's it's rose. And then you smell the, or no, it's chocolate. And then you smell the rose and you're like, oh, I don't know if I like the rose. And then the chocolate comes back and you're like, oh, I like the chocolate. And then the rose comes back and you're like, oh, I don't know if I like that rose. It's kind of girly. And then the chocolate comes back and you're like, oh man, this it's balanced, right? You're like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, regular, not overly floral, uh, not overly sweet and very well balanced. I. I have never been a rose guy or really all that into florals, but this, this, my friends, is simply beautiful. In all honesty, I believe that rose, believe rose, ugh, I believe love bombs really captures all the nostalgia that makes up a good old fashioned Saint, good old fashioned Valentine's Day. I'll show you my writing in a minute. I can't write with it. <laughs> love bombs will be available for the month of February or at least till we run out. So, yeah. You guys want to see my handwriting see how it's hard for me to read sometimes yeah i write all of that out by hand i don't have a printer i don't screenshot it or something so i don't have a typewriter either what's a typewriter i write all that stuff out so kind of a lot so anyway roses really dude it's valentine's day what else reminds you of valentine's day St. Valentine's Day Master, but we're not talking about that. Had the water heated up. Crazy stuff happened on Valentine's Day. If you look at the read history on it stuff, yeah. <laughs> Some of it's actually pretty bloody. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I gotta get that in there. Now, Appreciate we're gonna be using it. something new to me that I got, and pretty. I think it's pretty new on fa uh, Facebook. Duh. Get off Facebook, Chris. Something pretty new for me from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and that is Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Ice Tube. Ice Tube. <laughs> ice Tube. Meet Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Meet Ice Tube. Hmm. A match made in Valentine Heaven. <laughs> Eight ounces on that one. This is a travel one, so this is only two ounces. 2.0 tech. Ice tube 2.0. So, I'm gonna get better at this someday. 
Yeah, that's what we're using today. So just like the um, Ice Cube 2.0, but in travel form and smaller. Same sparkly, the blue sparkles and all that stuff. So that's what we appreciate we're going to be using now. It does come with this originally on the top, but I already popped it off because it take a little time. The last video review, I used the, the black one. So I'll pop that off. Yeah, that's what's on there. <laughs> Flip bulb. The three amigos. You guys remember that movie? It's a good movie. 80s had some pretty cool movies, man. <laughs> Mentalator, too, by the way. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Are we there yet? These are kind of cool. I like the cube, but um, if you don't want to get your hand all um, soapy or whatever, this works pretty good too. So travel, you run out, put whatever you want in there. Yeah. Now, like la the last one I used, what I did, the uh, charcoal one, 2.0, the cube. I rinsed when I was done. I rinsed this all off, and then I took like paper towel. And I wiped all the water off, and then I just let that sit on the counter and dry out before I put the cap back on. I want to go <coughs> let that sit. But we're going to be using today since it is Valentine's Day, and there was rockets in that <laughs> new soap. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the Atomic Rocket, 26 millimeters synth. Big <laughs> huge brush. Real soft. Get it heated up. Yeah. All right. Got the glycerine in my bowl. And roses. Oh my god. Chocolate and roses in the Lady Gillette, huh, bro? Yep. <laughs> pretty secure in my pretty secure in my manliness, I guess. I guess you could say, I don't know. Whatever. I was hesitant though, I was like, Rose it. Ah. Am I gonna smell like red door? For y'all that know what red door is. It's red door. <laughs> we used to buy that. My sister and I, for uh, Christmas, we used to buy that for my mom every year. That's her. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, chocolate and really is balanced, though. <laughs> nice. Doesn't really smell too girly. But, yeah. Uh, Red Door. My dad would buy it because my sister and I, you know, we're little kids. We couldn't afford it. Buy a Red Door for my mom. That was her favorite, favorite, like, perfume. There's another one, Chanel number no. five. Uh, Vanilla Fields. Do they make that one anymore? I don't know. That's when I was in junior high. I remember Vanilla Fields. That was one. Like the girls used to like that one. I know a little bit about perfume. Not much. I don't wear them. I'm wearing robes today, though. Yep. Try something different. <laughs> a little more water. Yeah, not really a rose person. I mean, some of you out there might love it. You're like, yeah. Huh. Attracting those ladies, right? All right. What is this guy wearing? <laughs> Unagi. Yeah. The chocolate's what hits you first, though. That's what's cool. The chocolate, like, where it, boom, you're like, Oh yeah, it smells good. Like seriously, I could if that was like chocolate, dark chocolate, I'd be getting a spoon and chewing it up and eating it because it smells good like that. Alright. I think we're good. <laughs> Build it. 
my neighbors are out there. Hope the dogs don't go crazy. We'll see. Why the be out? Be right. Yeah. I had chocolate. Yeah, that chocolate part. It smells good. Big brush with that splay. What? Chris. Yeah. That nice ladder. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that chocolate smells so good. Whoa! <laughs> he hit the lady Gillette. Put alum on my fingers, so I get a good grip. It's a good grip. Cool. It's cool. You gents out there, you, there's a gold one and a blue one. You can get the blue one. You don't have to be girly and get the pink one, but I'm doing the pink one today because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Pass number one. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. I got what, about four days worth of growth, I think. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that Lada's blade worked pretty well in the Gillette Heritage last re video review. Yeah, it's a big handle. Yeah, huge. Yeah, and a little bit more water. Not enough water. Water's dripping down the handle, but yeah, it's a little... See how it gets like, you don't really want it like that. It wants, it needs to be like yogurty, smooth, like whipped cream. So we'll be putting more water back in there a little bit. Yeah. There we go. So. For pass number two. Super speed style head, but so I like to rinse it pretty often because yeah, it's a super speed. Let's see, super speed head with a long handle. Kind of cool long handle. You can really choke up. You can really choke up on the bat. Yeah. Careful here today, even though it is Valentine's Day, we don't need a lot of blood. Very nice. That lot of blade. I might have to order me some more of those. I wanted to get some of those a while ago, but never did. You know, like uh, I always got stuff. I know I do. I got stuff in the back of my head I want to do. I got video reviews I got planned already in my head that I want to do, and uh, yeah, stuff you want to get. You know, at least on the back burner. And sometimes something comes out. <laughs> Yes, Peter came out today. I was like, BAM! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> A little bit more water here. And that first pass wasn't bad, yeah. Very good. Still slick, too. Yeah, a little bit more water. Don't want it all. You don't want it to start to get chunky. Like a lumpy oatmeal, I guess you could say. You don't want it like that. You kind of want it, if you're first getting into um, wet shaving, stuff like that, you want it to look like whipped cream. You pretty much want to, if you use the Barbasol can stuff, you want it kind of look foamy like that and good peaks and you put your hands together and it's like foamy. Hmm. 
But I'm a noob, so I'm still learning. <laughs> you a little wet around the ear, Chris. Whipper snapper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, that rose. That rose is like. I don't know if I like you. I like you. I don't know. I do. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> different. Very, very different. And I've never used a rose scent before, so. <laughs> First time for everything. I lost my rose virginity today. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got guns and roses in my head, man. Appetite for destruction. <laughs> now, we're all adults here, right? <laughs> so my one. Appetite for destruction. That first Guns N' Roses album, you know, uh the first album. It's crazy is uh what they did with their royalties. First thing they did with their royalties when they got paid for that album is they paid off all their drug dealers. <laughs> Kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> little fact. <laughs> Not for little kids. Get off my channel. <laughs> yeah, Appetite for Destruction. Man, my mom used to always jam that album out when I was a little kid. Was it 1986, 1987? <laughs> Uzi Suicide, the record label, or not record label, but their thing. Yeah, Inside Cover. <sighs> crazy. Yeah, all them songs off that album are good, though. Not just the hits, either. Not just the... Uh, but Sweet Child of Mind, uh, Paradise City, Welcome to the Jungle, but My Michelle, that's a good song. My, 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 my Michelle. Michelle. And there's uh, Think About You. I like that song, the chorus on Think About You. I think about you, you know, you know. And it's like, but. If I personally had to pick a phrase, uh, oh, there's Mr. Brownstone. When you're a kid, you don't know what that, you're like singing along, Mr. Stone, and you get older, like, oh, that's what they're singing about. <laughs> but my favorite, probably my favorite song off Appetite for Destruction is uh, Night Train. And again, you're a little kid, you're singing all those lyrics, you don't know what these stuff. Night Train? Oh, maybe they're traveling on a night train. No. Bones Farm, Mad Dog, what is it, Mad Dog 5150? I think that's what it is. Billy D, Colt 45. Yeah, Night Train, that's a good song. It's probably one of my favorite songs off Appetite for Destruction, Night Train. I'm on a night train, ready to crash and burn, I never learn. Oh, nick me, I nick myself. And you got to tune half, like a lot of GNR songs, you got to tune a half step, half, tune your guitar a half step down. So it sounds different. Yeah, I'm a West Coast giant, one bad mother got a red case suitcase under my arm. Say I'm a mean machine and drinking gasoline, honey, you can make my mother hang on. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, good one. Or Terminator 2. You could be mine, but you're way out of line. Wow. Yeah, I ain't gonna say the rest. Yep, that's that one. That's not bad, though. Not bad. Maybe I'm actually learning how to shave now. What, Chris? <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, that's smooth. That's BBS. <laughs> Magnifique. Very good. Now, do a little bit right here, a little bit. Don't go too crazy, Chris. Mm-hmm. 
kind of a pass three, but not against the grain. Just <laughs> as Paul H. Films would say, what would Paul H. Films say? Pick up time, baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm not chasing BBS. I'm just getting a little, just a little bit. Just doing kind of a third pass, but not a third pass against the grain, so. Yeah, they were a pretty good band. Just, huh. Wow. Now they're walking the street tonight. Alright, Chris, no more GNR. We start singing some Love and Rockets, right? Who? Who's Love and Rockets? <laughs> Alright. Very good, yeah. Talk about the shave, dude. Stop talking about music. Damn musicians. Very good, very, very BBS. 1960s razor, Lady Gillette ain't that bad. <laughs> All right, so clean up in the shower. We'll be right, we'll be right back in two and two with Chuck Willery. Look in that shin. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> very good, yeah, slick, well, smooth. BBS, just that one right there today. Tiny, tiny little. Yeah, very good. Smooth, 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 smooth. Yeah, nice. Very excellent. Excellent, Smithers. <gasps> Simpson, eh? <laughs> He's in uh, Sector 7G. Uh, Smithers. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to always... I always used to try to imitate voices and see how I could. When I was a kid, I used to be able to do Bart Simpson. Then uh, puberty happened I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> But yeah, he also imitate the uh, Nintendo. I used to always do like the different sounds for the uh, video games. Huh. It'd be cool, Michael Winslow. That guy is amazing at doing sounds. It'd be cool to be able to be as good as that guy. No sting. I mean, it weeped a little bit. Still, my neck gently weeps. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the rest, it's fine. Still, his partner here gently waves. Just kidding. <laughs> no heavy metal for Beatles. Right. Harrison, George Harrison. Okay, yeah, pretty good. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Didn't tell you, right? Watch that. <laughs> I thought. Valentine's Day, well, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrement shirt, cube, red, Valentine's Day. Probably my most, see the time and everything right there. Probably my most rare G-Shock watch that I actually own. And yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this one is the G-Shock XL Series 5146 GA-110CS. And they call this one the Iron Man. They can dub it Iron Man, but it's rare now, kind of hard to find. And you do find it's kind of ex pretty expensive because people want a grip for it, so. <laughs> nice piece though. But yeah, anyway, enough about that. Splash we're gonna be using today is the matching splash for this here, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Not Guns N' Roses, Chris, get it right. Love Bombs. Love Bomb. Not to be confused with Tom Jones' Sex Bomb. You're a sex bomb. You... Shut up, Chris. But the box is coming. We know this, right? Got a little cool, a little stuff different in there. You open it, cube, spaceman. Yeah. I have smelled this. I haven't used it yet, though, just because I wanted to. I wanted to see. I want to see. Now, there's also stuff in the bottom. You got it. that. I got that cliff cliff. This is pretty good, so if you're. Huh, nothing to see. Nothing to see. Schultz! I know nothing. Move along. Move along. Just put two things together. When you're storing, you can. If you're storing your aftershaves, 
cologne. Don't put it in the window. Don't put it next to anything sunlight. But if you're storing it, dark, dark place, you can put it back in the box so no light hits it. It's not like peroxide though, so it's not gonna be bad, but you can do that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Rose. You got, like I read to you, it's got the rocket right there. The rocket's red glare. Love bombs bursting in air. Sacrilege. Anyway, yeah. Chocolate and roses, aftershave and cologne. See, got the love rockets. <laughs> Cubots. Yeah, that chocolate. Boom. <laughs> Just kidding. Chocolate and roses. All right. Boom. Some people say you can't do that, right? Look, no hand. Right? No hand. <laughs> so put a little bit in there, bring it back. Bringing it back is the hard part for me, so. Flipping it up, easy. Just on your hands. Let it sit for like 10 seconds. Look at that. Oh, I always use a lot. <laughs> about 10 seconds so yeah just so you don't get that burn burn feeling let it sit on your hands for a little bit don't go just straight boom on you that's what when it starts burning like that not a bad scent not bad you know I'm probably thinking god you're wearing women's perfume girly not at all not at all I was hesitant on the rose, but it's it's well balanced. <laughs> like Sam Adams, well balanced. Yeah, there's choc the chocolate and the rose. It's it's right there in the middle. And you think, yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Chris likes something rosy. Oh, uh oh, just kidding. Anyway, yeah, very smooth, very BBS. Just that one thing, and that's a good, good shave. It's so smooth. Yeah. It's not what you think. It's not what you would think, really. It's not bad. You can't always go by. A lot of the times, sometimes with me too, you can't always you can't always just go by. Oh, I don't like that. Or, oh, it's amazing. It changes. It's different. Just like how I smelt this in here. It's when you smell it, it's a lot different. And then when you put it on the dry down, it dries down. It dry down, yeah. The dry down is a little different. It doesn't really smell to me. To me, it doesn't really smell girly. So <laughs> it's very different to it. But this mic does some good stuff, man. So. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you smell like a woman, boy. <laughs> yeah, that the dry down smells good. Not a bad scent. Not a bad scent. All right. Recap of what we used today on Valentine's Day. <laughs> DE razor we used today. 1966 L1 Pink Lady Gillette razor. Long handle. Super speed style head. I've got all three of these. And this, most, this one's the most beat up one I have, but yeah. Lada's, Lada's Russian Blade second use. I need to get me a five pack or a 10 pack of those. Those are very good. Appreciate we used today. Phoenix Stars in Accoutrements 2.0 Tech Ice Tube pre-shave. Mentholated. Very, very good. Allen Block. Forgot I picked this up off eBay. It just, uh, I don't, really don't remember the name, but yeah, just now I'm blocked. I beat up one. Soap we used today Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements, Love Bombs, Love Bombs, <laughs> Chocolate and Roses. Nice scent. It's, it's nice. It's not what you think. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you on it. It smells, it's good. It's a good, it's not girly. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really smell girly, so. Might be different for you, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I like it. 
brush we use today. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the Atomic Rocket 26mm synth. Rocket Queen Guns N' Roses? <laughs> Stop talking about Guns N' Roses. Brush. Big 26mm soft. Big loft. Backbone. Backbone. Put the backbone in it. Yeah, I washed it. So, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Damn fine shave. <laughs> yeah, BBS. Very good. I like that scent. That smells good. It's not what you think. It's good. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good shade. I like when they're good. I like when they're good. Yeah. Very good scent. <laughs> scent. Shent. That's very good scent. I need some scent. Oh, yeah. ESP just dropped today, too. I already bought that, so. I've <laughs> been waiting. We're all like, we're waiting, Douglas. We're waiting. <laughs> Anyways, that's the shade for today. Ladies and gents, have a good day, have a good week, and I hope you all have a good Valentine's Day. Spend it with your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other. Love, man. <laughs> Love. <laughs> have a very good day, and uh, yeah, stay positive, Chris. More to come, and uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing a live. My next shave. I'm gonna be doing a live, um, a live shave on Rich Man Shaving Group's Facebook page. So. Go check it out. I mean, and if, I believe anybody's welcome. So it's not like just me. Anybody, it's it's a private group, and you you get invited. But if you want to hang around, I mean, I've been there for a week and a half now, and it's it's a really good page. The, the guys on there are real cool, and everyone's they're nice, and yeah, they do shave of the days, they do photos, people post their YouTube stuff. I mean, it's it's a very good page. I should have joined a long time ago, but. <laughs> really didn't know about it until rich man shaving video and he said hey if you're want to join a group with other gents come on in and i'm like all right i'll check it out good thing i did man so yeah very good very good page shout out rich shout, shout out to rich man shaving shaving with rich so <laughs> that's it i'm rambling i know this is what was it 30 minutes oh sorry valentine's day <laughs> See y'all, ladies and gents, very, very soon. Bye, guys.